for today, or this painting, burnt sienna, emerald green, ivory black, ultramarine blue, titanium white, cad yellow, light, yellow ochre, a little tiny bit of naphtha red. Just for the signature, we'll be doing a covered bridge somewhere in Ohio. Uh, not sure if I have one in particular in mind. There were a few that I looked at and they were kind of the same, and I remember driving by one when I was a kid, so it's a loosely based on, on one of those. So let's just sketch in. Loose sketch. Uh, in the frame, not in the middle, slightly off center. That's the entrance. Or maybe we can do it on this side. Let's do it on this side. Make them a little longer. So entrance to the bridge is here back. You can see my shaky hands. <laughs> Draw the bridge in the middle. And then he goes, maybe there's a path that goes around the back. And he goes further. Yeah, something like that. And over here, I have a big tree line. Trees, trees, trees. Over there. Maybe some over here. Maybe some in the background. We need a little bit of sky up here. And that's the that's the sketch for this one. Mm, all right. Try not to sneeze. Okay. So this is all cleaned up. Let's do the sky real quick. Make sure I got all the oil out of this brush or paint out of this brush, as much as I can at least. It's okay to have a little bit of paint in the brush. I know some people, they clean after every color, or every, yeah, every color, but I usually just get most of it out and that should be good enough. All right, two and a half inch brush. We'll throw in a little bit of the sky. Not too much, mostly trees today. And I miss this spot that I always say I miss, right there. <laughs> I could tell. All right, we'll just pull this down. Okay. Just a little bit of sky showing through back here. I'll throw big trees over here, so that's why I'm not too worried about those. Big old trees. I don't even really want to put too much in the sky there. I think just that much is good. Let's do... I guess we could do with the background trees. So there'll be some... We'll put some trees behind. Behind right here, there's a few of them. Not too many. Maybe a tree line, actually. That's too much ivory black. This is emerald green, ivory black. Maybe a little bit of white. Not like a pale, not super pale green, but somewhat pale. Bland green. I don't know if that's a word. All right, and this should mix with the titanium white or the liquid white on there to make a okay uh, tree line that's lighter than what's on the palette. Please look up pictures of Dolly Sods when you paint West Virginia. It's called Dolly Sods Wilderness. Okay, yeah, sure. I can do that. West Virginia. I'll make a note, actually, so I don't forget. I have notes whenever somebody suggests a comment for a state to paint or a place, a location to paint. So I'll get it in there. Oh, no. I just knocked over all my paintbrushes. Someone needs to make a clip of
times I've dropped my paintbrushes in the stream. Dolly Sods Wilderness, West Virginia. Got it, okay. Cool, thanks for the suggestion. Trees, we were here. I think that's what I was doing. <laughs> Trees. All right, two inch brush. It's just like emerald green, ivory black mixture. Probably only need the top corner. Two and a half inch brush. And I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Sometimes I do this. If you've watched me before, you know that I do this. Let's do this, start in the middle. No, I'm gonna start over here. that corner. in a little bit harder here at the top just to make it a little more bushier is that word branchier i don't know if that's an actual word but it's a little oh, fuzzy fuzzy's the word looks a little fuzzy line somewhat of a tree line and we preserved the main part of the cabin or the the bridge that's kind of all we cared about there let's do this right side over here and then we can start on the bridge so we'll just fill this in Backgrounds in, or most of the background. Some greens, some stuff in there. Okay. Base color, that's what I call it. Base colors in there. Shadow Nick, Bob Ross's ASMR style. all unintentional I can assure you if you know me in real life this is pretty much how I talk let's go we gotta make some uh, make some colors here I'll use the same kind of black and this time burnt sienna color Maybe a little bit more black in there our dark background color for the cabin or the bridge.
dark awning. Probably should have highlighted back there in the distance first. A little bit in here. This is the top, top of the covered bridge. And we'll worry about going down on the left side there in a bit. Let's see if we can line this up. There we go. Pull down. Just trying to make sure the lines are kind of straight. Partial. So we're going to use our little card shield there again. Not that one, this one. All right, where do we want to block? We want to block right on the edge of the trees. I don't know if this will actually work. I've only done this once. Got him for the most part. Didn't push hard enough. That's okay. That'll uh, that'll do for the top. You gotta do this back side. Just fill in the color, really. That's all we're doing. And we need some here. This one right there. color here in a second once we start grabbing some from the top I don't really want to do that thing over there too. A little tiny pillar over there on the right. Mm, let's see. I do have to do this middle part too, but I might make that just straight black. Just because you're going into it, you don't really want to see that much of it. I don't know if I should do the black now or later, but probably should do it now. I'll just fill it in a straight ivory black. here. I can do this a few different ways as well. And I might switch to 
not the pallet knife. I'm not sure. What do we think? I'll just keep up with the pallet knife. It usually works pretty well. So let's grab some white. some of this. Some of these things are going to look like boards. I'm not sure where to start though. What would be a good spot to start? Maybe right here on the edge. Just tapping. Make it look like boards. Tap. Straight up and down. Nothing crazy. computer in there is going crazy. Fan spinning like a bunch. Alright, there's some planks there. We need a little tiny ones up in here. Let's see how we do this. They don't go all the way to the top because that's where the shadows are. These covered bridges. There we go. You can only darken it up too, so I'm not too worried about that. Just make sure it maintains some sort of a triangular shape here. Uh, there we go. There's our front. I'm gonna do this side, but kind of messed it up. I didn't do the. Uh, I'll wipe this off before I get a highlight color in there that I don't want. Got to go all the way to the bottom here. Okay. I might pull this tree line in up front too. But we'll figure that out when we get there. All right. This should be a little bit darker on this side. Hopefully it's a little bit darker. This thing just look like boards. It's super easy, you just tap on it and it looks like a board. Tap, tap, like this. There you go. As long as the, thing, the paint's thinner than whatever you're tapping on, it'll stick. If it's not, then it'll just kind of bounce off and you'll get stuck all over your palette knife. And you'll be wondering why. But that's the reason. Okay. Just keep tapping on the way back here. What did I say I was going to do for the roof? Red roof. A little red roof on the... Uh, Covered, covered bridge. I guess it's a bridge. We should probably make it go over some water, shouldn't we? <laughs> Didn't really think about that. All the ones I looked at, they were kind of like driveways, pretty much. They looked like. Let's see. Let's see how I want to do that. Could just be a little bit of a background here. Looks like a, a bridge. Got a hair sticking out. some mist or something there in the background. This part is going to be a driveway, so not worried about that. Okay. We got to do the roof, though. I 
think I said I want it to be red. I don't know if I have enough red to do that. So I need to get some more. So let's do that. Let's just see how far we get. Just going straight to the left. This is naphthol red. Could also do shingles, but that takes even more paint. Shingles you do just by uh, tapping with the top edge. So like this top corner, you can tap it in. It looks like shingles, but it's really whatever works. some more red here in a minute so I'll just see how far I get with this and then pick up some more it's too much there we go all right that's probably as far as we'll get with this amount of red I'll go grab some more this is good though because I always have too much naphthol red. Here we go. I got some more naphthol red here. Probably way too much. That's okay. There we go. Big blob of red paint there. ASMR. I am getting ASMR'd. I bet there's a Camaro in that garage. Yeah, there could be. This is a, this is a big garage. All right, let's keep going. See me putting this this thing up here this whole time. And tap this side a little bit on the corner. There we go. Let me some right there. There. All right. Let's see. We got all this red. We can add some more in these gaps. There's some spaces in here. Looks a little weird. It goes to the very edge, so I don't want any space there. There we go. Make some down here. At the bottom. Okay. And then on the inside of the little bridge to give it some dimension, we'll add some a bit of white. so it's not super dark. There's going to be a little tiny edge in here. And it gets bigger as we come to this side. Is there some light in here? Not much. A little bit. You can see some planks that might be in there. The hint of a plank or two sitting in there. If you're not even interested in painting, such artists help you fall asleep. <laughs> I like its style. <laughs> Thanks. I'm glad you like it. Okay. So now we've got a bridge of sorts. What do we want to add to it? Some fingerprints up there. I must have put my hand on it. Got to add in some foliage and whatnot around the sides. Make it a little darker, though. Let's see. I'm going to need some dark paint here. I'll 
I'll have to hold the canvas so I don't knock it over either. Getting close. Don't want to hit him. I'll probably use a fan brush over there so I don't damage it. Alright, a little bit more of that. Emerald green, ivory black. I like Nate, cool dude. <laughs> Thanks, Pedro. I like all you people that are here. They just always cheers me up when folks tune in. Make sure that they're having a good week. Hopefully, it helps them in some way. Even if it's just for falling asleep. Just glad you're here. All right, let's push around the back. Getting a little close. Probably don't even need to put this on a. Um, what is it? Over water, because it's not actually that big. As long as we cover up this top corner here, it'll look like it's going off into the distance. Just like that. See, now you're just kind of just going off somewhere in the background, disappearing. Okay. And then here, I mean, we can just turn this into grass. Do the same over there. I missed the two and a half inch brush. I haven't been using this one in a long time. And it's, this is very good for doing this type of thing. We're gonna have to add some highlights and stuff in here, so I'm just gonna blend this out real quick. Make sure it's a U U type shape. I'm making a dirt path. Is adding the highlights highlights of the trees at least that's my favorite part I don't know what other folks enjoy when they're painting I always like doing the highlights all right this would be a good brush to do that with we'll get some oil first though so this is just linseed oil let's see we'll start we'll start with yellow we got enough green up there that it'll turn to a light green as we tap along. It's just cad yellow light. I don't know if I said that before. And these are the uh, what are they? Blue Ridge oil paints. They're regular oil paints, not the uh, water mixing ones that I normally use. I don't remember if I said that or not. Backside won't be as highlighted. There we go. Look at these trees. Just, they're happy. It's about the springtime. Springtime trees are very happy. They're just coming out from the winter. So we we'll use some nice bright colors. Nice little buds on these trees. Down here we'll add some flowers. So I want to add in some flowers. I'm 
going to start putting this yellow in. All right. Wipe this off because it's got a lot of dirty paint on there. We got to get it clean, cleaned up. There we go. Good enough. We'll grab some more yellow. Actually, on this other side, let's use a uh, yellow ochre and a little bit of cad yellow, lighten it up. Maybe a little bit of green, emerald green. There we go. This side won't be as bright. I'm thinking the sun's kind of over there, maybe. And we'll touch up this cabin to make it look uh, more, more uh, lighted up. Highlighted? I don't know the word. Struggling. This is the dark side. Alright, we gotta be careful. I think I said I was going to use a fan brush, so I got to be real careful with that. Any reason you set your highlight that high? I'm going to put um, taller grass in the front. I don't know. I wanted to put like some grass and things over here, so maybe big flowers. Because it's springtime. Like really big flowers. I don't know. No reason, in, no reason in particular. Let's see, yellow and green. It'll be green. Gotta okay, get this corner here. It's looking a little weird. That's way too much highlight. Oh well. I just wanted to get that corner there, but <laughs> ended up just doing the whole thing. Okay. Anyways, now that we've got this yellow on the fan brush. We might as well just keep going. Do some of this front area here. All right. Just punching in with the yellow. Pick up some of the green that's already on there. looking a little too sharp. I don't want super sharp grass there in the background. Okay. I'm going to do kind of the same thing over here. Might start at the bottom. I yeah, know. Let's just do it here. We'll have to darken this a bit. Hard for me to see over here with the glare. I probably say that every time. I think covered bridges last longer than new ones. Yeah. Some of them I think are the oldest one was in the eighteen hundreds, so they're pretty they're pretty old. What's I gonna do here? Oh yeah. There's some yellow on here, but it shouldn't show up. We're gonna fill in the uh, the dirt. And then somewhere in here. Whoops, wrong color. Oh well. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna throw in some small small flowers. They're going to be real subtle back here, back here, and then up here I'm going to try to put in some big, I don't paint flowers very often, I just feel like everything's blooming, I want to try to paint some. So like right over here, right over here, we'll try it, we'll give it a shot, I'm not a floral artist, but we'll see if we can do something. We'll see, I don't know. 
Okay, let's wipe this brush off. And then we'll grab, we'll need some more oil for this because it's got to be pretty sticky. I got to make sure I don't press too hard, otherwise it's going to get, uh, it's going to turn green. I don't want the flowers to turn green. All right. Let's grab this and some oil. And we're going to use blue, blue and white, and then maybe some red. So I'll put some over there too. Purple flowers, maybe. I'm not really sure which ones we'll use yet. All right, this is just ultramarine blue. And we'll grab some white. this sticks. Isn't that a nice color? Nice flower color, hopefully. Should be some, just a little bit here. Just a little bit in the background. Oh, getting some green. Wipe it off. And get some more. A little bit of flowers here. Here and there. Grab some more of the blue. I don't know, can you see this on the uh, screen? Let me know if you can. If I need to make them brighter. Sometimes I get the colors confused. I love wet on wet. Just start with an idea and see what comes out. <laughs> yeah. That's right, JBB. Just go, just go somewhere. It's always fun. Okay, get some more oil. I think I said I was going to do some red ones, but the oil already dripped off onto the floor there, so maybe we'll do some red ones here in a bit. of something blooming. see the colored flowers okay let's see if I can make them stand out a little bit more might need more white actually that's too much blue now does that stand out maybe They're all kind of blending together here, so. I don't want too many. Just enough to make it look like there's some. Okay. Let's see. So we got those. Maybe I'll make some pink ones. Or I guess violet now. for different things. Okay. There's just a bunch of different smudges here. <laughs> different types of things. Now I gotta try to paint a flower. Or 
two flowers. And I haven't done this in a long time. So please bear bear with me as we adventure into paint by Nate floral painting. Alright. So I do know we'll need some green. This is just blue and cad yellow. This usually makes a nice green. Could also use, actually, I might even switch from this. Could use that as a highlight, but emerald green and cad yellow makes a nice, almost looks like sap green. Not quite, but close. So I'll just use that first. I don't know. Is that even the same? Are those the same? I can't tell. Maybe I just did the same thing twice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Risky. You gotta be brave, though. You don't learn anything if you don't try new things. So you just gotta, you just gotta go with it. All right, we're gonna make a leaf. We'll make a big leaf. There's part of it. Probably too light to start. Okay. I'm just going to call that the cradle of the. Maybe we'll put another one down here. I'll do them later. One more there. Okay. Here's that side. We're just putting these big leaves first. You can also, I don't know why I didn't think to do this. You can double load it. Light side on the top. might be good enough. I don't really know what kind of flowers we're doing here. We're just doing a flower. So we need the leaves in there first. Okay. There's our green. Now we gotta do some petals. Let's see if I remember how to do those. I believe this one was double loading. That's the way to do it. But I might scrape some paint off first so we don't get that green in there. Let's do that. Just taking some off first. Do the same over here. Since we got this towel already. Okay, where's that flat brush? We'll need some oil, thin oil. Doing kind of the same thing. I guess we can pick what colors we want. I'm just using blue because it was there. Blue one side, very oily. White, no, pink on the other? Maybe. Let's see if this works. It's been a long time. Been a long time. I don't even remember. How did I do this the last time? to spin them into it somehow. I can't remember. 
is turning into a disaster. Oh well, we tried. <laughs> It'll always work. And the middle has to be a like a dark spot in the middle. Oh, that was how I did it. <laughs> I knew I missed something. Oh, okay. We can do it right on this side. So you do it once this way towards the middle and then you do it, flip the brush over and then you do it the other way. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I forgot something there. Okay. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with oil here. <laughs> oh well. Sometimes I forget things. That's okay. All right. I might be picking up some of the green. So if I am, I apologize. I was forgetting something. Okay. Do one more down here. And then maybe one more. There's some green in there I don't like. This one looks exponentially better than that other one over on the other side. <laughs> but we can always fix them up. I knew I was forgetting something though. <laughs> I, was just going, I was just going in a swirl. But you have to you have to swirl it towards the middle and then take the other side and swirl it back towards the middle. And that makes it look like a little flower petal. That's the trick. That's the trick there. Just make sure you flip the brush over. Okay. You can probably fix that top side up there. And in the middles, we'll just put yellow, maybe. Yellow spots for the, I don't know what the plant organ is called, but. And then maybe some higher or darker parts up on the bottom so these leaves actually look like they're separated. Okay, let's just take our yellow, cad yellow. Same over here. What's the term they use? More paint than brush. That's what we're going for. More paint than brush. There we go. Nice little yellow spot there. You got this. <laughs> Thanks. We were struggling there for a little bit. I think we figured it out. Maybe we'll add another little one up here. It's like a baby flower. Okay. And then on the bottoms, just take some green and the yellow that's already in there. So hopefully it's a little darker green. And we'll darken some of these up. A little bit more on this back side. This one, I think he's okay. This one, a little lopsided, but I don't paint flowers often, so I'm pretty happy with them. <laughs> All right, there we go. Trying to do something different today, you know, paint some flowers, paint some bridges, get ready for spring. 
because all the plants are out and birds are out. And we could stop it there though. Okay. I don't like that. <laughs> There's always something. Okay, fixed it, or close enough, I should say. We'll sign it and then call it there. We've uh, met our bravery quota for the day. So I'll sign it right in that spot I didn't like. That's what I usually do. There we go. All right, wipe this brush off and then take it down, call it a day. Get our little covered bridge with uh, some flowers. Hopefully it came out okay, I don't know. People will let me know. All right, that's uh, this is just a covered bridge in Ohio. It's for Ohio painting.